first you go to google and type nata.in you'll find the official website of nata so in the mobile format you need to click on here to get to see this registration button click on here so here you'll find two options one is for login and another one is for sign up If you want to do first registration, click on the sign up option. If you already did the sign up process, you must have received the email ID password to the email address you have given here. So you can just use the mail ID password to log in into your application. So here I'll show you from the beginning. So click on sign up and in the first step, you have to provide your name. The second step, you need to give your father name. These names should be same like that of your 10th standard, 12th standard mark sheet. Next, mother name. Next, your mobile number, email address, your date of birth. You must create a password for your login, which should not be less than 8 characters or more than 13 characters. Also, the password must have contain a capital letter, a small letter, any one number, and then any one of these following characters. In case if you have forget your password, you can record the password using this security question you have given. You can note down this password and security answer somewhere in your mobile phone so next click on sign up so now your registration will be received and the link must have been received to your email address open up your email app and check for this mail so if you are not able to find this in the primary section you will able to find this in the spam folder so in case if you don't find it in the main folder check this spam folder open this here you'll get to see your application and password and then you can click here to verify your email address so your email ID has been successfully verified. Now you can click here to log in your password and the security pin. So in the top you will find all the list of steps you need to complete. First step is the basic details. Some of the details we have provided during the sign up. Some remaining left out are this category option. So you need to select your cast category for reservation, OBC, EW. Make sure with your this with your parents and apply correctly. I'm going to select other backward class, your person thing doesn't know, and your gender and the nationality and save and continue. Now we are moved to the second step that is we need to provide the address. Search for your city and then your pin code. No need to fill this landline number. Then click save and continue. Now we are moved to the third step, which is educational qualification. First option is it will be deactivated because it's a must meter for writing the NAT exam. The board name you need to provide. If you are a CBSE student, you need to select Central Board of Science Education. If you belong to State Board, you need to select your state particular board. For example, here you can see State Board of High School Exemption is Tamil Nadu is for Tamil Nadu. And the pin code of this school. So post 10th means that is either 11th or 12th or diploma or anything. So if you select clearing, you will not be asked to give the marks. And if you are select completer, you will have to fill all the marks of your exam. So for class 11th students also they can write NAT exam and the score card will be valid for 2 years. Now click save and continue. In case you have not filled anything you will get a message like this here. So here I missed select the year of passing. So next click save and continue. And now we are moved to the fourth step that is we need to upload photo signature a valid ID proof that is Aadhaar card. So before getting into this step you need to have your soft copy of photo to signature and uh, your uh, Aadhaar card with the following restriction that is the format should be in uh, JPEG image format should be and the size of the photo should be uh, less than 100 KB for the photo and less than 30 KB for the signature and also uh, less than 100 KB for the Aadhaar card. For converting this you can do this easily using your whatsapp camera so uh, we have made a separate video the link for that will be available in the video description go check that and make your soft copies ready before you get into this uh, step so in case you are logged out due to the time restriction you can again log in back like we did after email verification using your id and password and uh, continue from the step where you left out so here the photo option click and select the photo and signature and then Aadhaar card as a ID proof and the number so next click on browse and select the soft copy of your Aadhaar card now click save and continue so now we are moved to the fifth step that is preview of application form you need to check all the details that are provided here this is horizontally scrollable you can swipe and see this and check all the details whether they are right to your knowledge so after checking all this you can click on save and continue in case if you have any errors you can click on back and do your error modifications
So next step is declaration and payment. This is the step where you will choose how many exams you want to write and where you want to write. Better to apply for two tests or single test. Three tests not must needed. UAE students you have center in Dubai for uh, Indian students. You have all centers in India. Other than UAE and India, there are no examination centers available in the other countries. So and then click on. Uh, declaration and then this is the payment gateway not ICIC bank so after getting into this payment gateway you'll be able to do all type of payments using any banks so now the application form fees for two exam will be 3250 you'll, you'll get a pop-up it shows your application fees click on ok and now you are in the payment gateway you can use credit card debit card or upi upi is uh, most uh, apt option for doing the payment so here you can provide your upi id that you will find in your google pay and uh, paytm or phone pay application or else you can also click on the qr code and then you can scan so you can click on proceed now in your google pay you must have received an option for the uh, payment that is 3250 you can click on pay and then complete your payment once you are done with the payment you will get an option to download this application form so this is how you apply for the nata exam i hope this video might have helped you complete your application form if you find this video useful do subscribe and follow us on instagram you will get all the updates about the exam as well as other useful things so thanks for watching signing up for architect hari from nairamclasses.com